Hey guys, it is Stevie here and today I am doing a big haul. I know I've been gone for a while. I went on vacation with my husband. We went to um, Disneyland. So I kind of wanted to show you guys some of the goodies that I picked up from a couple of stationery stores, Daiso. Um, we, we definitely took a tour. So I want to show you some of the fun stuff I picked so up. I'm going to start with the stuff that I picked up from Disney itself. I picked up this notepad with Snow White, who is my favorite princess. So this is it without the wrapping. Super cute. Oh, that one's bent. Weird. Um, just super cute paper. This was $13, which is kind of pricey for a notepad, but honestly, it's Disney. Everything is pretty pricey. And then I picked up this set of pens. It just looks like some ballpoint pens. There are six of them. And I just liked all of the Mickey Mouse, like it's kind of like a vintage theme. So this is what they look like. So next I'm going to show you guys some stuff that I picked up from Daiso. I picked up this ruler set and I picked this up for bullet journaling because it kind of has everything you need to make bullet journaling a little bit easier. So I picked that up. I picked up these highlighters. And these I picked up because it was from a suggestion from uh, Danny. It's OC Girl Danny, I think. She is a Disney fan, and I met her on Instagram. And I did a, like, I had a little meetup with a couple of girls there. It was super fun. And they kind of told me their favorites at Daiso. So I went and picked them up. So one thing she said is that they actually smell really delicious. So I'm just going to smell one. Ooh, these do smell really good. Okay, all right, good suggestion. I'm excited to use them. Then I picked up this little pen with a little white bow on here. It just kind of reminded me of Hello Kitty. So this is what it looks like kind of close up. And then I picked up, these are little envelopes, which I use a lot of envelopes in my traveler's notebooks. I think these are supposed to be money envelopes but I definitely picked up a few of these um, just to pop in there. I really love the watermelon one for summer. I think these are going to be great. I also picked up some of these cute little sticky notes with animals. I got the sheep. They had a bunch of different kinds. Also from Daiso, I picked up these index sticker cats. You fold them in half and they kind of act like um, tabs. Envelope that I picked up and then I got one with owls. I picked up some of the big envelopes. So you can kind of see this pattern. And then I saw these and I thought these might work well in my planner um, or in my dory. So this is what they look like. <laughs> well, it's hard to see them because they're clear. Um, but these were $1.50 for a pack of them. A pack of eight, I believe. But um. This will be a perfect dashboard for like my pocket or my passport. Really good. I bought two packs of these. I picked up more of the index. And by the way, everything so far um, that I've mentioned other than the Disney stuff is from Daiso. I don't have a Daiso where I live, so I went crazy. I literally went to Daiso multiple times and I bought a ton of stuff. I will be doing a home Daiso haul. So now let's talk about Kino. What is it? Kino Kunia. Let's talk about Kino Kunia. This is the picture that everyone was commenting on on my Instagram. These are the little notebooks that I picked up. Um, they look like they will fit a micro. Um, they're definitely too small for the passport. You can kind of see this is my passport. But honestly, I like the look of different sizes. I'm about to do a walkthrough of my uh, boho passport or my boho pocket with pockets and I'll show you guys how I utilize layering. Um, I actually learned that from Kat to utilize different size notebooks. So also from Kino Kuni, I'm sorry, I mispronounced the name of that stop, that shop. Kino, Kino Kunia. I have to check the bag every time. But I saw these page flags and they were overpriced, but I had to have them. They're super cute. I'm not even really a cat person, but I just, I thought they were so precious. These were $6.50, which is crazy. 
And then, of course, I had to get these ones if it will focus. Look at how beautiful that desert scene is. Isn't that so stinking cute? I love this. I also picked up these rose gold clips. I have a bunch of these in a much smaller size, but I saw these giant ones and I don't know what I'm going to use them for, but I had to have them. They're huge. And it's funny because when I saw these, I was like, oh, I need to pick up a second one for my friend Key. But they only had one left and I was like, dang it. So I'm going to check and see if they have more. But these were only $3.15, which was a pretty good price, actually. Um, I wanted to try some Midori brand items. Now, they had Midori Traveler's Notebooks and I was feeling them and I was playing with them but they just weren't as buttery and soft as the Traveler's Notebooks that I had on me. And I had a Boho Dory and I think an Old Foxy on me. And I didn't like the leather as much, so I ended up passing on getting a Midori and I decided to get some of the accessories. So this is one of them. I got the um, zipper case with three pockets. So that's the back. This was $10, which is crazy because you can get a set of three on Amazon for around the same price, if not cheaper. But then I got this pencil board, the 10th anniversary traveler's notebook, um, pencil board. This is what the whole thing looks like. Um, it's really cute. I actually really like the style of traveler's notebook, like the travel theme and you know, because I happened to be traveling, I decided to just go ahead and grab it. And I love that it has the grid on the back. I absolutely love that. This was $6.50. And then I also got the smaller one. This is for the pocket. And I just thought this was so cute. I love that it also had the grid. You will definitely be seeing this in the tour of my Boho Dory. And then, Let's talk about immediate shopping regret. As soon as I walked out of the store with these, I felt so dumb because I can make these. Um, I usually try to buy things I can't make in a similar quality, but these are cardstock folders for your pocket and they were $6 and I feel like an idiot, <laughs> but um, I bought two. But you know what, honestly, it's good to try out different brands. So I went ahead and I picked that up. And then the same thing as before, I got zipper pouches for the pocket size, if it will focus. Um, and I got two of these. And then these were seven. I picked up this little tray. Um, the store has so many cute little knickknack type things. And I just saw this and I thought my washi tape would look so good on this tray. The only thing I don't like is that the paint and whatever is on here is already chipping and I haven't even taken it out of the bag until right now. So I'm not super thrilled with that, but honestly, it kind of just makes it look a little bit more rustic. You can really barely tell, but I just thought these hedgehogs were so cute. The last items from Kino Kunia, oh, I got it right on the first try, was a bag full of pens. Okay, so I got a little Totoro pen. I'm having a hard time focusing on it but it's a Totoro pen. I picked up something that looks like a Coletto. I don't know if it's Coletto brand. I have no idea what it is. It's Sarasa, maybe? 0.5 color changing inks. Yeah, I literally had no idea what I was going in for. I just knew I wanted a lot of pens, so I just started grabbing. Um, I probably should have really done some research first. <laughs> this is a Pilot. I think that this is a pencil, actually, a mechanical pencil. Um, I will do another video testing out all of the pens, including the Disney ones. Um, I will do a pen test in the next video. I would do it now, but this video would be way too long. So this is the next pen that I got. This is a pink Sarasa pen. And I actually tested this one out and I loved the color. Um, I got it in blue, this like pretty teal. I got it in gray. I got a 0.7 black pen. I got a pretty mint green pen. 
I got a purple pen, which I completely forgot that I bought, and I'm not sure why I bought it, so I'll let you know if I like it. I got this Uniball Signo in black. I have the Uniball Signo in white. It's actually a lot pricier than this one was. This was $3, but I had to get the Uniball Signo off of Amazon, and I paid a fortune for it. And then I got a Rilakkuma pen. Rilakkuma, I don't know how you say that, but it's like the Coletto, where it's different colored inks. I just thought this would be super cute, especially for pictures. I'm a huge fan of these. And this is the final pen that I got. It's actually, I think it's a fountain pen. Yeah, it's a fountain pen. And there is ink in there that I actually, I think I have to set this up. Um, I just needed to try <laughs> a fountain pen at least once. So I went ahead and I picked this up. It was only like $4. Um, they had fountain pens that went all the way up to hundreds of dollars, so I figured four dollars I can try it out Now I'm moving on to items that I picked up from happily ever etched. I will link their shop below and This was a free ornament that they gave out absolutely beautiful. I Picked up some popsicle page flags. These were just way too cute for me to say no to and then I picked up some Halloween sticky notes. I just thought they were so sweet. I picked up some Alice in Wonderland, if it will focus, some Alice in Wonderland um, sticky notes. And I picked these up because I was in Disney and it was very on theme and I had to have them. And then I picked up a traveler's notebook. This is a pocket size and it comes with one insert inside. And it was on clearance for $18 at Happily Ever Etched. I almost wish I had bought two and done a giveaway. Um, the leather is weird, I'm not gonna lie. It's really, really, really weird. And it's not buttery and soft, but for $18, I figured why not try it. But it's really like thin and like plasticky feeling. Like I would not have guessed this was leather. It feels plasticky, but um, I went ahead and picked this up. I only got one other thing and it's a Bando wallet and I can't, uh, I don't have it on hand. It's in my car, but um, I did pick up a Bando wallet. It was on clearance for $12 and it's a wallet I had been eyeing at um, Barnes and Noble, but it was like $25. So I said no, but I found it on clearance at Happily Ever Etched and I'll take a picture of it and post it on my Instagram. So if you can find one, you should. They're absolutely adorable. But yeah, this was my haul. So thank you guys for watching my haul. I hope you guys liked it. I'm sorry it was a doozy. I do have a Daiso home haul. And if you guys are interested, me and my husband did pick up a bunch of weird snacks from Daiso that we're happy to try. Um, and then I will be doing a pen test. And I have a couple of other videos that are filmed that I just need to edit and upload. So I'm sorry that I have been gone for so long. It's just been a crazy, hectic month with the holidays, but I do love you guys, and I will be back on, and I will be doing another giveaway soon, but I love you, and I will talk to you later. Bye!